hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to make about how to show a success message after the submitting of a form okay so any process you do the message should come so as you can see in this inserting time i have not done any message to show so user one number user at gmail.com let me save so there is no message popped up anywhere so guys for that let us make it to show the message so now let's get started with this so as you can see this uh, the page where it is it's inside our views front end and this is the employee.php file right so this is the table which we are showing it over here employee data so this employee data is displayed over here okay so now i just want to show a message over above this only so guys let's uh, tell this inside this header i want to show a message with the alert thing lrt alert alert hyphen -E success and inside this message will be shown so for demo we'll just check here hello and let me roll this so you can see this guys hello it's coming right so now we will start the coding so as you submit this form you will be having a code to save that inside your controller so let's go to our controller employee controller where at the top we are having to store right so in the store function when we are calling that that time the page is getting to redirect it to employee while saving it so before redirecting we are going to set the session so to use this session to show the message you have to go to your uh, documentation and in libraries there are one session option so i'll just show you where it is okay so let's see session library so let's click on this we can find the things about it so guys what we have to do let me just control f and set flash we will search so set flash data okay so this is the one thing so which we will copy now copy control c or right click and copy it and then paste it over here so after saving what you have to do, tell uh, employee data inserted successfully f u l l y and here instead of item you are can tell the status s t a t u s status that's it and now guys we will take this with this message of status we are going to use this so when you are using flash data that time you have to uh, include this file into your autoload.php so to go to your autoload.php in your libraries you have to import the session so let's give comma and import that session over here so how can you import that session as in the beginning it might be said in the documentation only so we have to use this session see they are using this into the controller but instead of using in controller we will use it in session in auto load so directly they will be called so let's copy this and get back and let's paste it over here session that's it and now guys it will be done so let us go back to our controller and let's check this so to view this message on your employee page we're here so if you want to view that you have to set so let's open php and close php where if condition i will give inside this if condition we will check so how to check that so let us tell and if semicolon inside this if condition we have to check so how can you check that you can check in this documentation only where you can tell flash data flash data directly let's click below okay so flash data it's shown here where it is this is to set the flash and to view the output here it is okay so let's copy this same thing and check so 
So let's copy this thing and get back and let's paste that. Simple. So instead of this item, we have to give status because we have given over here. Okay. So inside your employee controller. So let's copy this and paste over here. If this is working, then you will be including the same thing for echoing the data. So let's echo that PHP open is equal to and close. You can directly view this and give the semicolon. So guys, now let's come here and let's refresh the page. So you can see there is no nothing like that. So let us add the data and see that it's working fine. So let us tell user two where phone number is given and user two at gmail.com let's save this so let's click on save employee data inserted successfully so guys finally we have done with that how to show the status of it okay so same way for which we have done edit that thing we can show over here so once you click on this update what the data should get the message should come as updated so let's update that also where it is so let me just copy the same thing and paste for it so after edit you are going to update so the query for our update is over here and let's tell instead of inserted we will tell updated let's refresh and see back so let's click on edit option and then let me click on the update so let us give with s and here guys employee data updated it is telling successfully cool so everything is set so same way for deleting also you can set the same status for printing it so you can just replace this over here employee data deleted successfully you can tell this so the same message to print this fetching this data is the same output that's it nothing else so guys uh, we have completed that how to show the message uh, in this form and now I will see you next video about the registration and login system in Coding Igniter. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.